Hello, so today I'll be talking about prebiotics and probiotics. So probiotics are foods that contains beneficial bacteria, while prebiotics are foods containing plant fibers, which are beneficial for the proliferation of your uh, good bacteria in the body. So the intestines is the home of uh, many bacteria in the body. So most of them, um, you have the good bacteria, and you have the bad bacteria. So the good bacteria are the ones that are essential for health. And they are essential for health because they, some of the literature says that they promote the secretion of neurotransmitters such as serotonin, which makes us happy. Another is that they keep in check your bad bacteria, which can cause diseases inside your body. And third is that it promotes uh, well-being and they also produce uh, short-chain fatty acids uh, such as butyrate, which is essential for reducing inflammation uh, in the body. So always try to remember that uh, probiotics are essential for good health. And this can be found by eating foods that uh, mostly are fermented, like sauerkraut and uh, yogurt. I hope that this short video was able to help you. Bye! So we're gonna go to yogurt and kefir. O, tiba, may nagtatanong yogurt, yogurt and kefir. Okay, tiba? Tiba, doktor, dairy yun. Tiba? Okay. I have read in one of the literatures last time, and it says that actually they're very, they're not only good for cancer, and the lactose there, it's converted already to lactic acid. So, okay yan, that's go. So, you you can eat yogurt, you can eat kefir or fermented foods, they're good for us, because they supply our body with a bacteria, with friendly bacteria. We are actually made up of bacteria. More, more, more on bacteria our body is more on bacteria yeah rather than uh cells okay diba yung mouth natin you heard it several times that our mouth is very very dirty diba sabi nila it's very dirty actually it's not really very dirty it means there's a lot of bacteria in the mouth and it's there for a reason okay Probably next time, I will discuss it to you. Bakit maraming bacteria yung ating mouth? How come our mouth is full of bacteria? There's very many reasons why it has to have a lot of bacteria. Friendly bacteria, of course. Pati yung ating gut, it has to have a lot of friendly bacteria. There's so many good reasons. Like, I will tell you right now. If you're gonna eat green leafy vegetables, they are made up of nitrates, nitrogen. Now, it is converted, it has to be converted to nitric oxide. And this nitric oxide, it's actually anti-cancer. It's not only anti-cancer, it causes vasodilatation for your heart. And you cannot take in nitrates, okay? The only reason why you can take nitrates is if your bacteria converts it to nitrite. And from nitrite, when you eat it, in your stomach, it is converted to nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is anti-cancer. Okay? So those of you who are listening, Hi, Antara! For those of you who are listening, you might want to research on nitric oxide. Okay? That's the one that I'm researching right now. It's actually very interesting. One of the best articles that I, that I have read in my life, nitric oxide. Okay? So... Probably that's one of the 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 frontier. It's gonna be a frontier in uh, cancer treatment. Hopefully. I know.